Hello, my name's Laura Rolls and I'm a fiddler and a teacher from the Isle of Man. So today we're going to be continuing our series of instructional videos for beginner fiddlers where we're going to teach you some Manx tunes. Now the tune we're going to learn today is called Chanter's Tune and it's not technically a Manx tune but we've kind of adopted it and everybody on the Isle of Man now plays this, this tune. So we're counting it as a Manx tune. It's a great little tune because it's quite simple to play but it sounds really impressive, especially if you can get it quite fast. So here we go, I'll play through Chanter's tune for you and then we'll have a go at learning it. one of my favourites. So let's break that down into smaller pieces and the first bit is dead simple to learn. So we're just going to do the first little phrase. Just that little bit. So it starts off with open strings. So we've got two open Ds and then one open A. Shall we just try that? So D, D, A. Good. Now the next bit we're going to do a slur. Now a slur is when we do more than one note in one bow. So we're going to do the next two notes, which is three and one on the D string. We're going to do them in one bow like this. So we just take our finger off but keep our bow going. That's it, so let's put that together. So open D to start. Now, to be fair, that's most of the tune learnt because this bit comes back time and time again. So if you can master this bit, then you're doing really well. One more time through this. Okay, next bit. We're going to keep the two open Ds at the start, but this time, instead of the open A, we're going to go to a close second finger on the A string. So we're going to go to the C. So it goes like this. Okay, should we try that? So two open Ds and then a close second on the A. Good, and we've got another slur. This time we're going to slur first finger up to second finger on the A. Okay, so one to two. Let's put all of that together. So two open Ds to a close second. Fantastic, one more time. Okay, let's go from the top. So we'll put those two together. So open D to start. Up to a second finger. Brilliant, well done. Okay, let's do that one more time. So two open Ds. Now we're going to keep going up for the next bit. We're going to go up to a third finger on the A string. It sounds like this. So we've got the third finger on the A string and then we're going to go to two open A's. So it goes three, open, open. And then we've got the little bit that we did in the first phrase where we've got the three one on the slur. So three one on the D string. That's it, so put that all together. So starting on the third finger on the A string. And then open. And then three one on the D. Brilliant, one more time. So third finger on the A. Fantastic, let's go back to the very beginning and put all those three together. So open D to start. Done. Okay, now the next bit, we're going to start on a close second on the A string, and the first bit moves by step, so we're going to go two, one, two. Okay, and then the next bit we're going to do open, three, one on the D. Okay, 
Okay, so all together it goes. Two, one, two, open. Three, one. Good, one more time. Two, open. Fantastic. Let's do the whole. This is the whole first line we've learnt now. And it's actually the majority of the piece because after that it kind of just repeats it in different orders. So once you've got this first line, you've done the hard work. So all the way through the first line, open D to start. Now the last bit, we're not going to do any slurs in that last bit. We're going to do the, all those separate bows. Now the good news is, for the whole of the second line, we're going to repeat what we did, apart from the last little bit. So have a listen to the second line. much easier in many ways. Instead of the last phrase where we went the second time we do it we're going to repeat it with just two open D's. Nice and easy. Should we give that a go? So we're going to do it the same for the first three bars that we did but the last bar we're going to switch and just do open D's. So here we go, second line through. So starting on an open D. half the tune learnt. So let's put those two lines together now. So line one where we've got this ending, line two we've just got the open Ds. Okay from the top. Okay, now the third line is a little bit tricky. So we're going to start on the open A for this, and it goes like this. Okay, so moves by step, we're going to start on an open A, and then we're going to go up to a one, and then a close second. So open, one, two, and a back to a one. Bit. Now it's got quite a tricky rhythm, so we're going to go long, short, long, short for that one. So be careful not to rush this bit, it's quite tricky. Let's try that bit one more time. Ready? Long, short, long, short. Very good. And then it moves by step again, we're going to start on an open, and we're going to go down to a third finger on the D string, and then back to an open, and then a first finger, and then a second, close second again. So that bit goes. Should we give that a go? So start on an open. So open three, open one, two. Perfect. Let's go from the beginning of that third line. So on the start on the long short bit. So we're gonna go long, short, long, short, open three, open one, two. Brilliant. And again, one more time. Long. Now we're going to finish off that little section with a one, two on a slur, like we did before. And that's going to lead into a bit we already know. So the rest of this line goes three. So that's the same as the last half of the first line. It gets complicated, but it's really not once you're used to it. So. The whole of that third line I'm going to play you just so you can have a listen. So here's the new bit. And then this is the same as the end of the first line. Okay, so should 
Shall we have a go through all of that third line? So we're going to start on the open A string. We've got the long short bit. Long short, long short. Now up to a third finger, back to an open. Three, one, two, one, two, open. Three, one. Very good. One more time through that. This is the trickiest line. So if you have to do this a few times, don't worry at all. So open A to start with. Long. Shall we go from the top? We're going to do lines one, two, and three. And I'll shout out a couple of reminders where we are if you get lost. So open D to start with. Now, good news is we've already learned the whole tune because the last line, the fourth line, is exactly the same as the second line. So it's this one. I'll play it through for you. And that's the whole thing. Shall we give it a go from the top? Okay, so I hope that shows you how something that can sound quite impressive is actually very simple when you break it down and you only have to learn a few bars. Right, we're going to swap over now and we're going to give it a go with the piano part as well. So back in two seconds. Okay, so once you've learned the tune on your own, then you might want to have a go at playing it along with some other people. So to help you practice that, we're going to give it a go now. I'm going to play the piano part and you guys at home can play along and do the tune. So I'm going to count in four beats and then we're going to start off together. One, two, three, four. part and the piano part can be found in the fiddle book which is available from Coach Bannon so you just need to go onto their website www.menxmusic.com and you can buy it from there as well as the teacher's book which has all the piano parts and all the chords so I hope you've enjoyed learning this tune please come back and learn some more thank you <laughs>